What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new session of VIX Vapor Rub Lubing Techniques. Today we're going to be talking about in detail uh, about databases. How, actually what are they or how does it work? And it's going to be it's not going to be it's going to be in detail but it's not going to be like in a whole overview of like all the things, okay? It's just a little bit little by little, okay? So <clears throat> I don't think I need to tell you what this particular thing does right here, Firebase.database. It's just a connection to the database. That's what we're doing right there. Uh, Firebase obviously has a lot more methods than just database. Uh, we have authentication, hosting, test lab. You could actually look these things up. Let's actually look, the, let's, let's actually look it up. Let me pull up my uh, browser. Let's go to Firebase, Firebase.com. Let's go to council. Let's actually get inside of our. I've already talked about it in the last video. Let's go to budget snob. And you have all these things that you could use with Firebase. You could actually do functions. You have functions, a lot, tons of functions. You have hosting. You have storage database, which we're already convenient with or we already uh, are comfortable with, and authentication. Now, so obviously you could do Firebase. Let me see, Firebase. Auth. You could do analytics as well. You could do auth. You could do fire store functions. All these things. You have all these uh, functions that you could use with it. Okay. So Firebase isn't just for database. It's actually just to uh, you just. It's just a module to get the functions out of Firebase. All right. So we're getting our database mod function from Firebase. So this is actually talk about the ref and set. So obviously set, you already know what that is. You're just setting something or your database to a specific object. Obviously it does not have to be an object. You could just pass in a string and it'll set the whole database to a string. We, let's actually add some stuff in here. So that way we, so that way we can start messing around with stuff. So we're going to do an, an age. Uh, let's do 28. Let's do, um, I don't, oh, location is a good one, so that way we could nest. Remember, it's going to be an object. This has to be a comma right there. It's going to be an object where we have city. I'm just going to say, let's say New York. It's going to be a string New York. And let's say country. And we're in the I'm gonna just say US for short, okay? I'm not gonna write the whole thing. Um, so yeah, let's just have this database and let's actually save it. Save it. And over here in our database, in our real-time database, you should see that information being showed up right there. Age, 28, location, lo city, country, name, web dev journey. Awesome. Let me actually put this to the side because let me see. Okay. So we could actually see what's going on. Sorry guys. I am just, all right, cool. So this set method isn't really different. Uh, you're just setting values or whatnot to your database. Okay. Uh, key value pairs, properties, whatever you're setting that to the database. Now this reference, this right here, the ref is short for reference. This is right right here is the key to the whole thing. Okay. The reason why is because think about think about SQL tables or no SQL or SQL tables. Okay. Uh, SQL you have you have tables. So you, you would have like a uh, employee table, salary table, um, department table, you know. So instead of in no SQL, instead of tables, you have collections, but you would have a collection for employees, salary uh, departments, right? But in reference or in Firebase, you don't really have tables or reference or uh, you don't have tables or or collections, right? It's just for a SQL, you have tables. So that way you could reference things from tables. If you need something from tables, same thing as no SQL right here, you only have reference. So whatever you want to do is basically let, let's put it this way. If you want an employee's table, I'm doing air quotes. Right here, you would have, let me delete this. You would have an, or let, let's say a salary, salary, a salary table. You want a salary table right here. You would have an object 
And right here, this is where you would put all your information for that salary. Let's say you have um, the employee. His name is WDJ. Obviously, for employee, it would probably be uh, another object, but multiple for multiple employees, right? Uh, you would have uh, the salary, salary, or let's actually redo this. So for salary, it's going to be an array, array of objects. So the first object, employee, is WDJ. His salary is literally $1. I know they underpay me, bro. And let's say he has an ID, a unique, unique identifier, which is going to be a set of random strings. I have no idea. Okay. Now in, let's say you have a department now. Department is going to be another array. And in here we're going to have, it's going to be per object. So I'm, I'm going to say employee. WDJ, I did it all caps up, up there. WDJ, he, um, comma, he works in the department, in the department of uh, uh, programming. Even though that's not really a department, <laughs> it's going to be like front end, back end, full stack. It doesn't really matter. Um, and that's it. Oh, and the, his ID. His ID is literally the same ID I have up here. This is how we're going to be able to connect to. Why are these? There you go. And why is this? There you go. Okay. And obviously you would have a company, but let's just stick for this right now. Control save. You can actually see the things over here change. Ah, where's my real time right here. You'll see over here change department. It's an array with. Obviously the array is zero because remember, uh, when you count or when you do index as an array, it starts at zero. So we have department programming WJ with this ID salary, empl employee WJ ID and salary is $1. Okay. Oh, sorry. So this is how you would do your tables. Instead of actually creating tables, you, you would actually create like a salary table, but you would do a property and then your, your table in here. And in your department, do you understand what I'm trying to say? You wouldn't, you don't have tables or collections with Firebase. What you do have is just this right here, right? So over here, you know that you want to reference. You have a table, departments table. You have a salary table. You have an employees table, right? All these things, okay? So that's the reason why this is key is because whatever you do from here on out, like if you want to update, set a new property or something like that, you would be referencing wherever you want to actually update. So let's say for an example, you want to update, uh, let's say the salary. Good. I deserve a raise. I got a promotion, right? So I want to actually update the salary for WDJ. You're, you're going to be using the ref. Okay. This is where ref like again, ref is pretty key on this. Uh, so let's actually, let's actually do something really quick. I'm gonna just create a const, I'm gonna say database base, and we're gonna set that equal to fire database like this. And then I'm gonna just reference database right here. So that way I don't have to keep on doing firebase database. Okay. So down here, we're gonna do database dot ref. Okay, let's just focus on ref. So we want to reference our salary for WDJ, which is in an array. So we literally have to navigate from the root of the database. Now the root is literally, if you don't pass nothing inside ref, that is the root. So let's say that I do dot set, I'm gonna set a string root of DB. So if I actually save this, over here, you're going to see something right here. Everything changed. All the red means that it got deleted and it just says root of DB. The reason why it did that or it deleted everything is because right here, we're setting everything. We're setting the root for as this object, right? We're setting the root as this object. 
Now down here, we're just saying, hey, we're setting the root again as a string. So if you don't pass anything in rev, it's going to change, it's going to change the root, which is basically everything, okay? Which we do not want. So we want to change something from the root going down to salary. So we go to salary, and this is pretty easy. We go to salary, and it, oh, it has to be a string, sorry about that. And we're just navigating down to where we, we where we actually want to make the change. Now, since this is an array, it's not going to be bracket zero bracket, okay? Everything is not like that. You have to actually do a forward slash zero forward slash salary, okay? So we're inside salary right now. We're inside the first index of our salary and we're, we're targeting the salary property um, or key, right? And we wanna dot set. We wanna set that to, let's see, he got, he got a bumped up a dollar more. So he, he I'm getting paid two bucks an hour. <laughs> so we actually, now, now let's actually see what's going on over here everything changes or we actually got stuff but our salary changed and that's the only thing we wanted to change now obviously if you had another one let's actually go bring up one more copy paste let's say uh wonka wonka he has a salary of i don't know 1000 and he got a we want to change that 1000 to something else he got a promotion as well so he's not he's not in the zero index he's actually in the one index and we still want to target the salary and we want to change it to 2000 right so over here obviously we're gonna get new stuff and as you can see we got two people in salary it's 2000 now it, it would have been 1000 but we just changed it right so that's how you would this this is what the power of reference and this is why it's so key to Firebase databases, right? You're just referencing where you want to actually make the changes. So for the department, you would go to department uh, zero for my me, obviously, because we're in an array and stuff like that. In the future videos, we are going to actually establish or standardize how to actually do this for databases. But for right now, we're just going about how to actually, you know, change things in database, set new things in database, you know, update, create. So Let's say we wanted to add a new table. I'm doing air quotes table, okay? And we want to we want to put in the um, employee table. I have no idea, okay? I'm just I'm just making these things up. Employee table, right? Where we have all the employee names and their IDs, okay? So let's just do that. So how would we actually do that? Well, down here we would create a date. We would call database dot ref, but we don't have a a employees table you know we could actually just create one using ref so what right we're going to do right here we want to create we're going to reference an employees table which we don't have so it's going to create it so and we want to dot set we want to set an employees table uh right here we're going to put in let me see let me, let me actually just grab this by the way, Wonka's ID cannot be the same as my ID, so I have no idea. Okay, just like that. Now, if we actually save this and go over here, we're gonna actually see that we're gonna get a new uh, table, air quotes, table of employees right here. We got our department, we got employees, we got our salary, and this is just an object, but we could actually change this to an array. Let's do that right now. Like that. Now let's go back. And there we go. We got an array. So employees, zero index, employee WDJ, his ID was is this. So now it's pretty much simple from here on out. <laughs> it's just, it's pretty simple. It really is. Now let's actually talk about removing. So we know how to add, update. Let's talk about removing, okay? So it's pretty simple. Uh, let's say that Wonka got fired. Thank God. Uh, so I'm gonna copy this. So we're gonna reference Wonka, which is, actually we need to reference him in everything, but let, let's just say for, for, for the, 
well he's not in employees he's actually just in salary so so um in salary we want to reference the second index which is going to be the first index if you know what i mean we're going to reference wonka let's put it that way we're going to just reference the index of wonka which is this object right here so we're going to reference salary and then one since wonka is one right and we're going to just call remove now if you control save this over here you're going to see that wonka was removed right there salary now you don't see him no more pretty neat so this is literally just the basics i mean this is honestly just the it's not even close to being done with this stuff all right it's just the basics now in the next video we're gonna go over some promises for with firebase because let's say that you wanted to do something once wonka was deleted you wanted to do something you want to notify the user hey wonka was deleted right well we need promises or callbacks for that we can't just say council.log wonka was removed because that's going to the council log is going to run before uh wonka is actually removed um if you know what i'm talking about because the reason why is because once we actually run this it reads it like this 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 and then since we're right here we're removing it it's going to read this let's say that we have the console log right here the log of whatever right uh so it's going to go right here it's going to go to the firebase server it's going to go way over there but while it's doing that it's going to call this even though he hasn't been removed yet since this is still working it's magic in the back end you know it's going to the server trying to remove it this is, has, has already been called and let's say that we do have an error once removing wonka wonka was never really removed well we just counsel log that wonka was removed well we fixed this problem we fixed these things with callbacks promises async await whatever you want to whatever you want to use we're going to be using promises but yeah, we're going to be talking about promises in the next video. We're going to be talking about a little bit more about updating because, well, yeah, uh, updating is a little bit more than just what we just did. And we're going to be talking about how to fetch data. Uh, and we're going to be talking about more about arrays. OK, um, so that was it for this video, guys. You just learned how to add, update somewhat uh, and delete stuff from our database. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate you taking your time, taking time out of your day to watch my videos. It, it really does help me out. And please leave a like to this video because it does help out the YouTube algorithm. And, you know, I'm trying to get the five minute fame. <laughs> I'm just playing around, guys. Uh, no, but it, would, it really does help that out so other people could watch my videos and probably learn something from it as well. So. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.